Hey everybody, I'm Mike Peters. And I'm Rebecca Farina. And you're watching LIE. Coming up, we'll hear about some local events on Long Island. And we'll also hear about all of PATV's Art Day programming. And we'll have kitchen tips with Antoinette. Then we'll hear all about the most recent video game news with Long Island Games. And a big event that we were at recently. All that and more on, on LIE. Oh, I see something coming. What is that? Yeah, you got a flight coming in? Ooh, what is what this? What is that? It's this week's hashtag of the week. Hashtag of the week? What's hashtag of the week? Well, a hashtag of the week is a way for us to connect with all of you. So this week we have hashtag packaging fail. And this is because I received this package in the mail. It was a body lotion. And look at it. It's all messed up. It Terrible. was even in bubble wrap and it just got totally smashed. So it wasn't packaged properly, I guess, even <laughs> though it's in bubble wrap. But anyway. So look at, look at that box, it's all messed up. It's terrible. It's smashed. And if you guys out there have experienced your own packaging fails, make sure you follow us all over social media. The info is right down here, at PATV2037 on Twitter and Instagram. You can use the hashtag packaging fails and send us your own. We'll choose our favorites and we'll show them on the air next week. That's right, don't forget to use that hashtag. And next, let's find out about these local events going on on Long Island. With spring just around the corner, Long Island has a lot to offer in terms of entertainment. Let's take a look at what local events are coming up near you. There are several concerts to look forward to this spring and summer. If you're interested in showing your local musicians some support, come check out the Adelphi University Symphony Orchestra. AU will be holding a concert at the Garden City Campus Performing Arts Center on April 1st. And on April 29th, the Jazz Ensemble will hold a concert of their own in the pack as well. Come show your Panther pride. As for some more household names, pop icon Janet Jackson will be making a special appearance this summer. Miss Jackson will be at Jones Beach on June 25th, so don't miss your chance to be a part of this great musical experience. Jones Beach will also feature bands Weezer and Panic at the Disco on June 30th. This is another rare opportunity to see two great bands side by side, so if nothing else has appealed to your taste so far, this may just be the concert for you. And if you're not an avid concert goer, don't worry. There's still plenty going on around the island that you can enjoy. The Merrick Spring Festival is a great place to enjoy some local shopping with your family. The festival will take place from April 30th to May 1st, so start saving up now. We also have some family-friendly events in store for you. For all the kids out there, Landmark on Main Street in Port Washington will be putting on a stage production of the children's book, Are You My Mother? A musical about a baby bird out on a search for his mother on April 9th. And for the parents, consider checking out the sixth annual All Kids Fair at the Melville Marriott Hotel on April 10th. This event will feature 80 exhibitors with quality products and 24 fun classes to take with your kids. This year's fair will also include a performance by a juggler from the Big Apple Circus, so don't miss out. And every Friday night of May, there will be a car show in the Belmore train station parking lot. This is a great chance for all the car lovers out there to check out all sorts of vehicles, both old and new, so don't forget to drop by. And for the guitar enthusiasts, the fifth annual New York Guitar Show and Exposition is to hit Long Island April 23rd and 24th at the Freeport Recreation Center. Finally, for all you film buffs, the Long Island International Film Expo will be held from July 13th through the 21st at Belmore Movies. This event will be hosted by the Long Island TV Film Foundation and the Nassau County Film Commission and will feature anywhere from 50 to 150 independent films. Submissions for films are now closed, but if you're interested in attending, grab your popcorn and come enjoy independent films from all over the world. And that's all we've got for now on upcoming events. Stay tuned for what's to come on LIE. Here's a look at what's coming up this week on PATV. Saturday and Sunday mornings are all about the kids, 
Tune in at 8.30 a.m. for Adventures with Mickey Daly as he reads classic children's stories and tells jokes. Right after Mickey, stay tuned for an hour block of cartoons. This weekend, we've got classic episodes of Popeye the Sailor Man and Betty Boop. At noon at midnight, we've also got some classic movies. This weekend, we have the noir classic, Suddenly, starring Old Blue Eyes himself, Frank Sinatra. Watch as three gangsters plot to kill the President of the United States. Monday night, be sure to tune in to Prevention Through Connection, a series produced by the Manhasset Coalition Against Substance Abuse and our very own Teen TV. This week's topic is on active parenting with human development specialist Tim John. Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. you can always catch Something to Talk About with host Bonnie D. Graham. This week's guest is Robert Palaciano, who is a survivor of a bank robbery. You won't want to miss this one as he discusses what it's like to be shot and his healing insights regarding post-traumatic stress disorder. Every Wednesday at 5 p.m., be sure to catch replays of our award-winning series, The Playwrights Project. This week, we're airing the interview by playwright Lucille Lickblau. What happens when an upscale New York City couple can't get their kid into premier nursery school? Tune in to find out. Thursdays at 7 and 7.30, we get all the good vibes and positive energy from our very own Grace Grella. This week, her guests are the winners of a raffle donated by Grace to the Mary Stolfa Cancer Foundation. Grace has a live show the 28th of April, so be sure to tune in and call in for a chance to chat with Grace. Friday, April 15th, we have special programming all day for World Art Day. And as always, all of our original programs will stream on the web, so you can take PATV anywhere. Just log in to patv.org slash livestream. Oh, and thanks for watching. Well, there's a lot of great things happening on Long Island, and there's some great PATV programming. There is, and I'd like to tell you about some very special PATV program coming up. Tell me, tell me. April 15th is World Art Day, and all day long we're going to play programs from our past that have to do with art. Plus, we'll have a very special four-hour live block where we've invited local organizations to come in and tell us all about their involvement with the arts. We've got some live performances uh, with music, dancing, poetry. If it's artistic, we got it. Oof. So be sure to tune in to PATV April 15th, live at noon. It's better than tax day for you grown-ups. Way better than tax day. Please tune in. And you know, that reminds me, you know, makeup, beauty tips, that can be artistic. Very artistic. And actually, Emily has a segment, beauty tips. Check this out. Hello, my name's Emily Sullivan, and welcome to my beauty segment on LIE. Let's get started. For my first segment, we're going to start off with a hair tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to do a simple thing, which is called a braid. So, in order to do a braid, you need to take three strands. You can either do your whole head, which I will show you, or you could just do your side. So, in order to do a side braid, you need to take three strands and make sure you split it. Then you're going to take the strand further away from you and put it under the middle strand. Then you're going to take the strand closer to your face and put it under the strand you just pulled over. Now we're going to fast forward so you can see it. Okay, so now that I'm almost done with the braid, as you saw, I had to pull it down a couple times because, well, my hair is curly and it gets knotted very easily. So. Now that we're just about done with the braid, if I braided it back, I could always put it in the back and make it like a pretty side braid, or I can do my whole head. Now that is one single braid done in the back. You could also do pigtails or you could do two here, 
Um, so yeah, that's how you do a simple braid. On the next segment, I'll teach you how to do a French braid and a Dutch braid, because they're basically the same thing. So thanks for watching, and remember, my name's Emily Sullivan, and this is the beauty segment on LIE. Bye! I have a very special announcement. I'm introducing Mike's segment, his very own segment, Life Hacks. Check this out. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Peters and welcome to LIE's weekly segment on Life Hacks. You all think life is so hard, but I'm here to show you just how silly you are. This week, we're gonna focus on one of the two things that everybody has, opinions and smartphones. For our first hack, have you ever been at a party or a social gathering and you wanna play some tunes on your phone, but the volume just isn't cutting it? Well, this trick can help. All you need is a mug, a glass, or a bowl. You start your music, place it in the mug, boom, instant amplification. On to our second life hack. Have you ever wanted to watch videos on your desk at work, but you don't have one of those expensive phone cases with a kickstand? You don't need any of that. You guys remember mini DV tapes? Yeah, me either. But if you recorded any home video in the early millennium, you might have a few hundred of these lying around your house. All you gotta do is take the tape out, throw it away, place the case down, throw your phone inside, and boom, instant phone stand. Now our last hack has to do with chargers. Now phone companies make a lot of money off their chargers by making them fragile and easily broken. But this trick will help you prolong the life of your charger and all you need is a clicky pen. All you gotta do is take your clicky pen, pull it apart, find the spring, and remove it. Once you've got your spring out, all you need to do is wrap it around your charger and coil it around. It might take a little time, but eventually you'll have it all the way around the charger. So when you're done, you should have a cable that looks sort of like this, and as you can see, the spring will help protect it from any kind of bends and tears it might occur, that might occur over time. Ah, uh, simple as that. So, this has been our segment on smartphone hacks. If you guys watching have any ideas of your own, you can email us at info at patv.org, or use the hashtag PATVLifeHacks, We'll scour social media and find your own ideas, and maybe we'll even put some on the air. So until next time, I'm Mike Peters. Hi, I'm Adnan Tahir. Hi, I'm Matthew Lanza. And you're watching Long Island Gaming. Mike, can you come back? Whew. Oh. You okay oh, there? Boy. Yeah, I'm all right. It's just uh, all this jogging between studios. It sure does make me hungry. Oh, you're hungry? I have just a thing for you because my mom loves to talk about cooking and kitchen tips, and she has a segment right here. Watch this. Hands, they're not the exciting part of cooking, but they are very important if you'd like to create some delicious foods. My name is Antoinette, and today I have some kitchen tips for you. Choose the right pan. Size and durability are very important. One day, I was at a bridal shower and there was this flimsy pan with baked potatoes. When someone picked up the pan, it gave way. It was too flimsy and whoops, the potatoes, many of the potatoes landed on the floor. My friend Rosalie brought over some cookies for the holidays. I'm thrifty. So I was going to reuse the pan because I wanted to make some baked ziti. But as you could see, this is all shangat. Thanks a lot, Rosalie. When I'm using a disposable pan, I like to put it on top of a baking sheet so that if there are any holes in the pan or it uh, bubbles over, I will not make a big mess in my oven. When I'm not using disposable pans, what I like to do is line my baking pan with aluminum foil 
it makes clean up so much easier. All you need to do is remove the foil and clean up is done. Oh wow, where has the time gone? I need to decide what to cook now. It's been nice. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Kathy Samuels, Project Director from Manhasset Casa, and you're watching PA TV. So, Rebecca, have you uh, been playing any good video games lately? I'm still playing PS1 and Game Boy Color. Those are my go-to things, yo. So. Oh, man, there's been a lot of advancements in video games lately. Really? And there's some been really exciting news uh, as of recently. And we've got Josh and Frank to tell us all about the latest news in gaming. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm Josh. And I am Frank Lopez. And we're here to talk about games that are coming out. Uh, well, I for one am ex well, not really excited, but I, we're like looking at like the new, the next Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Chronicles, which will be like taking place in India, Russia, and China, I believe. And I, I gotta be honest, um, you know, I, I'm somewhat excited for this game. It's not the typical Assassin's Creed game. It's usually, really not. Assassin's Creed game is usually a first person, well, third person. Third game. person, yeah. And it's not usually a side scroll. This one's a side scroll. This is they, a side scroll. They gave us some gameplay in Unity with the China one. Yeah. And I didn't enjoy it. No. I don't know about not, no, not really. A lot of people enjoyed it. It really just took up time and money. That's, that's all I see it as. Okay, and also there's a game called uh, Quantum Break that's coming out, and it's a third-person shooter with this guy that's able to stop time. I don't know much about it, but, do I. Yeah. but some people say it's going to be a good game, but others say it's not, but we have some gameplay for you guys, so... Yeah. Are we still rolling? I'm Pam Parker, and you're watching PA TV. So, Rebecca, do you remember what we got to do a couple weeks ago? Yes, we were at a very big event. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, look at that. We were at a very important event, the 59th New York Emmy Awards. And why were we there? Because PATV was nominated for an award for Welcome Home, which honors Vietnam veterans as they told their stories in this program. It's, it's such a great program, and what an honor. It was such an honor. The night was full of such big names in New York media that it's such an honor to be uh, held to such a high standard with the rest of these juggernauts. Absolutely. I think my favorite part was actually getting to interview some of these people there. We have some of the... Best yeah, we got to be in the press box, you know. Yeah. We got to dress up really nice. That's always cool to have an It was just a lot dress of up. fun. But look, it's, I mean, it's the Emmys. You know, this is our second time we were nominated. And uh, I can't wait until the next time we're nominated. I know it'll be soon. Man, that was just such a great night. It was a great night, and it was great to relive it all. I hadn't even seen any of that footage Yeah, yet. yeah, I'm glad we got to see it again. Uh, and it was a great show we had today. Uh, I mean, we learned a lot. We did. We learned about the upcoming art day right here at PATV. Yeah. And you told us all about these awesome life hacks that we didn't know already. Yeah, and don't forget about uh, your mom's uh, great kitchen tips. Right, and beauty tip. We learned how to do that lovely braid with Emily. And I want all of you out there not to forget to use the hashtag packaging fail right. all over social media. The info is right down here at PATV2037. Right, right, right. And I think that's all we have for you today. So until... No. What? We have the vibe of the week uh, with Grace Grella. I forget. Ladies and gentlemen, Grace Grella. Thank you, Mike and Rebecca, my dynamic duo. I love when you segue to, uh, to, to the vibe of the week. And it always makes it a good one, so because of you two. And this week really is going to be a good one. We have the sun going into the sign, um, astrological sign of Aries this week. So it's going to be hurry up and wait. Uh, <laughs> that spring is coming. You know, the daffodils are getting happy. The f crocus decides that they're not going to croak. They're going to burst forward and have life and be beautiful. So it really is going to be a lovely week. 
and to spring forward. Um, Saturn's going retrograde and what this means astrologically for everybody is it's a time for introspection. It's like let me just go over this plan of mine one more time that I've been building up in the past couple of weeks because I've been listening to the weekly vibe so I'm taking care of business and so it's uh, okay let me double check let me uh, make sure all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted and I I I and it's going to be lovely for you. Um, also, please know that this is a time for you to uh, really take stock of yourself and, you know, uh, do the polishing up act. You know, if you want to take uh, an extra course or a class or uh, it, it could be anything for yourself, whether it's uh, an art class or a certificate class, anything to enhance your knowledge. That Gemini Sagittarius energy is all about learning and communication and it's uh, highlighted and uh, really special for you this week. So take advantage of it and make it work for you. Um, JP Morgan said, you know, millionaires don't use astrology, billionaires do. And I know all of you out there want to be in the B column for billionaires. So uh, take note of it, uh, strike while the, the time is right and the timing is right now. And have a great week. And once again, this really is the end of the show.